everyone. So I just want to tell you guys what I've been learning lately. I've just been reading so much about faith and just about believing. Um, one day I was just going through a really hard time and um, I just cried out to God and God said if you have faith as small as a mustard seed you can move mountains. Later on I got confirmation. I get um, scriptures of the day and that was the scripture of the day. I was like oh God you are so good because he knows when we need to hear his word. Well, anyways, I want you guys to, um, you know, when I go and I ask people if they have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ, one thing that I forget, forget to mention is, do you truly believe in Jesus Christ? Do you truly believe every word that comes out of the Bible? And I notice that a lot of us, we lack faith. You know, throughout the whole Bible, Jesus is always telling his disciples and others, you know, if you believe, you shall be saved. You know, if you believe that um, he says in his word um, in Luke 8, chapter 8, verse 50, he says, fear not, believe only and she shall and she shall be made whole. This is about um, the parents where their daughter was um, dead. And so, uh, you know, um, they wanted Jesus to come and pray for her. And he's like, oh, you know, he kicked everybody out. It was just the mom, uh, the dad, and some of the disciples. And so they went in the room, and he's like, oh, you know, don't worry. He's like, she's just sleeping. And they left. So what did Jesus do? He kicked them out because he's like, well, where is your faith? So he kicked them out, and pretty much he, um, he raised her back from the dead. And so right there, I think it's um, God is showing us something that's truly important. He says, you know, you have to believe. If you're not going to have, if you're not going to believe and you're not going to have the faith, then just get out. You know, we have to truly trust his word and believe on his promises and believe in the word of God. Throughout the whole Bible, he's always, um, I've been reading a lot in the New Testament. And not just in the New Testament, the Old Testament as well. But he talks about, you know, having faith as small as a mustard seed. You can move mountains. He also says if you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you can also plant a tree in the sea. Can you imagine that? Telling a tree, go be planted in a sea, and it happens. That's how much faith God wants us to have, you know. And it's like one of the other videos that I mentioned where I said, faith is blind. You cannot see it. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Even though you don't see it doesn't mean it's not happening. <laughs> we serve a God that does not sleep. He is awake at all times. And even like when we feel like we're alone, that he's not there, he is there. No matter how much we feel like he's not, he is. And we just need to trust him and have faith in him. There's a story in the Bible um, about this man where he's like, I'm not even worthy to go up to the Lord Jesus Christ. He sent his friends to tell him, you know, I have um, my servant. He's very ill. You know, he's very dear to me. And um, just say the word and he'll be healed. And, um, you know, the guy didn't tell him, come lay hands on him, come and touch him. None of that. He's like, you know, just say the word and he'll be healed. And he believed. And um, so his servant was healed. And, and it says that Jesus marveled because of the faith that he had. And I'm like, imagine, he just, I would love for Jesus just to marvel at us because of the faith that we have in him, the trust that we have in him. And so I just want to encourage you guys to have the faith, have the faith as small as a mustard seed. Even though you don't see it right now, doesn't mean that, you know, it's going to happen. Whatever you're praying for, or whatever you're hoping in, you know, whether it's for your marriages, whether it's for, you know, your lost loved one, you know, whatever the circumstances, whatever it is. Know that you are not alone. God will never leave you nor forsake you. He says his word comes down like the rain and the snow. It doesn't go back to him. That's how his word is. Like he, His word will not return void. He, it's, he already said it. That says it. He said it. That settles it. It's done. You know, he said it is finished. So we need to have faith, trust in his word, and stand on the promises of God. Don't lose hope no matter what anybody tells you. You know, oh, you know, God can't do that. You know what? Our God has no limitations. He has, there is no limit to our God. So don't put him in a small box and limit what our God can do because he can do all things. And just know that what is impossible for man is possible with God. Always remember that. So um, I'll talk to you guys later. And just remember, keep the faith. Keep fighting the good fight of faith and don't lose hope. All right, bye.